They ruined this nigga's life, and now he's coming back playing comedy clubs, and they acting like if he's able to do that, that's gonna hurt women. What the fuck is your agenda, ladies? Is, is sexism dead? No, in fact, the opposite happened. I said it was gonna get worse, and they said I was tone deaf. But eight states, including your state, have passed the most stringent anti-abortion laws this nation has seen since Roe v. Wade. I, I told you, I told you. I'll be real with you, and I know nobody gives a fuck what I think anyway. Uh, I'm not for abortion. Oh, shut up, nigga. <laughs> I'm not for it, but I'm not against it either. It all depends on who I get pregnant. I don't care, I'll tell you right now, I don't care what your religious beliefs are or anything. If you have a dick, you need to shut the fuck up on this one. Seriously. This is theirs. The right to choose is their unequivocal right. Not only do I believe they have the right to choose, I believe that they shouldn't have to consult anybody except for a physician about how they exercise that right. Gentlemen, that is fair. And ladies, to be fair to us, I also believe if you decide to have the baby, a man should not have to pay. That's fair. If you can kill this motherfucker, I can at least abandon him. It's my money, my choice. And if I'm wrong, then perhaps we're wrong. Just figure that shit out for yourselves. <laughs> I mean, really, y'all, what the fuck are we doing? I can't live in this new world you're proposing. And meanwhile, while we're worrying about all this other shit, look at what's happening. They just killed another 12 people in a mass shooting in Virginia Beach. This shit's happening every week. It happens so much, I'm almost, I don't care anymore. I came home early from the road. I had a $12,000 suit on, because life's been going good. <laughs> and I got home early and dinner was cooking. You ever come home when dinner's cooking? Doesn't that smell good? And my son saw me and he was like, Dad's home. And he got up from the table and ran over to give me a hug, but he had chicken grease all over his face. So I stiffed on him like, yo, 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 my man, my man. <laughs> Watch these threads, son, this is an expensive suit. I don't want you to get the chicken grease all over me. And he was like, what the f chicken grease? Dad, this is duck. <laughs> a tear came out of my eyes. I never dreamt I'd do so well in life that I'd raise a nigga with duck grease all over his face. And we sat down, we just talked about everything. I was telling my wife about how my shows were going and I told her my trans jokes and she was like, oh, I hate that joke. And you know why she hates the joke? Cause she's Asian. But you know what I mean? I don't make that face at the house unless we're really fighting. And me and her, like, we weren't arguing, but you know what I mean? She was just like, you need to stop doing that. And then I tried to change the subject. I go, how is school going, boys? And my son's telling me, well, we didn't have school today, technically. I'm like, well, I, what's going on? He said, well, there was like a school shooting drill. I never heard of this. You know what this is? They have drills that they make kids do uh, where they practice what to do if somebody comes to shoot up their school. I'd never heard that before. I was like, what the fuck? 